Um, I just wish you guys knew how much anxiety I have when I come up to these microphones. Um, because they're so dirty. <laughs> yeah, they never get cleaned, so yay. Um, when I was little, I was labeled particular, but as I got older, the doctor called it OCD, which means I'm a germaphobe, so yay. Yeah, I actually wear uh, flip-flops in the shower, my own shower, and note that I live alone. So that's healthy. Um, and OCD can manifest itself in so many ways. It is like a true Vegas buffet, because there's just so much to choose from. I have a whole like germ thing. I only like odd numbers. And like sometimes I have crippling anxiety, but like no big deal. Some people though with OCD have to check like a lock on their door 25 times. And I'm like, they're just freaks. <laughs> because you only need to do it 20, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm talking about, he knows. My appendix burst inside my body, which if you don't know, is the worst place. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that our appendix burst? It's the only organ in our body that doesn't have a job to do, but it's the first one to be like, fuck this. <laughs> our other organs must be like, seriously? You're the one that had it up to here? I have organs in my body that have had every right to walk off the job years ago due to unfair working conditions. My liver had been pumping poison out of my body for years with a smile on its face, like a migrant worker, just happy to have a job in America. <laughs> Meanwhile, my appendix is like some spoiled rich kid that can't believe has to work a goddamn day in its life. And my liver was like, hey appendix, can you help us out for like one second? And my appendix is like, oh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> That's a theory I had to develop because doctors still don't know what makes our appendix burst. Isn't that crazy? It can kill us. It's 2014 and they don't know why. We can send people to Mars, probably. Don't look it up. And we have no idea why our appendix burst. I came out of surgery. I was like, doctor, why did my appendix burst? And he was like, I know, right? I was in the hospital for seven days on morphine. It makes you constipated. I was like, I want to go home. And the doctor was like, you can't leave until you have a bowel movement. And I was like, this is the weirdest standoff I've ever had in any relationship. <laughs> seven days in the hospital, emergency surgery, no health insurance. Anybody want to know how much that costs? $45,000. And it's crazy how you find out. You get a bill in the mail for $45,000. In the mail, with the other mail. Like it's just more mail. Except it's a bill for $45,000. In a white envelope, like all the other envelopes. That should not come in a white envelope. That should come in a black envelope with a skull and crossbones on it. And when you open it, a picture of your hopes and dreams falls out and bursts into flames because now you owe the fucking hospital $45,000. My friends had a lot of great financial advice. They were like, uh, what was it? Um, oh, fuck them. <laughs> Don't pay it. What are they going to do? Put your appendix back in? <laughs> Which is a good point. And in some countries, they do. What? I'm joking. But whatever country you just thought of, you're racist. Someone once called and had the audacity to be like, hey, you want to come over and jump in the jacuzzi? <laughs> I was like, um, the steaming cesspool of filth. I'm good, hard pass. <laughs> There's someone's lipstick on this. It is like, ah, spraying at me. Um, no joke. Um, oh, speaking of spit, have you ever been talking to someone and they accidentally spit on your face? <laughs> so, you know, a normal person may casually like wipe it away so you don't embarrass them. Oh, no, not me. That's not the case. Like, I'm gonna let you know. You've offended me. Like, I just took a bullet. I'm the hero in this situation. Oh, or have you ever seen the spit leave the person's mouth and come towards your face? So now it's like everything's slow-mo and you're in the matrix. You're like, no! <laughs> Inevitably for it to land on your lip, and at that moment you're like, I'll never be clean again. <laughs> Sounds so normal, because I am. I love my job, man. This is one of the best jobs in the world. 
You know, one thing people don't realize about this job, though, there's no benefits. You know, no medical. <laughs> That's not funny. Why would you laugh at that? <laughs> Black guy has no insurance. <laughs> I have plenty of insurance. I'm going to trip myself on the way out. <laughs> Being back in an ambulance, can't do this, huh, colored guy? <laughs> Going around the corner, play the siren. <laughs> Me personally, I think healthcare should be free for all Americans. That's just my opinion. Yeah. yeah. For you guys who didn't clap, that means you can't relate. <laughs> Let me tell you something, it's messed up when you too broke to go to the doctors. You know you should be at the doctors, but instead you in CVS at two o'clock in the morning trying to diagnose yourself. <laughs> You be walking in like, oh, shit. my kidneys are messed up. I better get me some NyQuil. I heard NyQuil is good for bad kidneys. I'm gonna get some Tums for this tumor I got too. You know, Tums is in the word tumors. Thank you six people who got that. I know I'm not the only one in here late at night Googling your symptoms. I know I'm not the only one. Have you ever been so sick you get on the computer like, what in the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Am I pregnant? <laughs> How the hell can I be pregnant? I'm a grown man. <laughs> and you can always tell your friends don't have insurance because they always give you medical advice based on their financial situation. <laughs> Everybody in here has at least one friend. Whenever you don't feel well, they have a cure for you. <laughs> Especially my boys. They'd be like, whoa, 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 what's up, dog? Whoa, 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 what's going on with you, man? Obviously, my friend is black. <laughs> Saw the look on your face. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> That's how black people communicate. <laughs> What's up, dog? You all right? What's going on with you? Like, oh, man. My back hurt. Uh, kind of got the chills like, hmm. You need some Hennessy. Yeah, Hennessy and Pop Rocks will knock that right out. Pop Rocks, what in the hell are you talking about? Go ahead and be sick, dog. I'm just telling you it'll work for me. Mm, thank you, Dr. Pookie. I was, in the, I was in the delivery room when it happened. Don't do that, fellas. Oh, ho, ho. I have seen some things I cannot unsee. I did learn this though in the delivery room. I learned that women, you're a lot more mature than men are. Way more mature. A lot more mature. And this is how I found it out, ready? Fellas, if you've never been in the delivery room, get ready to see a woman get manhandled. And what I mean by that is people come in very nonchalantly, they just put their hand in her, and they walk out like nothing. <laughs> they come in, they're like three centimeters, they leave. At one point, I could have sworn as a janitor. My man was like four, he left. <laughs> I was like, does he work here? <laughs> He's in the corner. <laughs> anyway, her doctor comes in to check her, right? She's like, all right, Mrs. Rivera. She checks her, she's like, all right, you're about five centimeters. I'll be back in an hour to check on you again. As soon as she left, first words out of my mouth. I was like, babe, for the next checkup, you should put a quarter up there. <laughs> Before you judge me, could you imagine the look on that doctor's face on that next checkup? Like, all right, Mr. Rivera. Well, that's different. <laughs> and that's why I say women are more mature than men. Ladies, I'm not gonna lie to you. If we had vaginas, we'd put stuff in it. We would. <laughs> Forget a wallet. I'd carry everything in mine. <laughs> Credit cards, keys, loose change. If I was giving birth, confetti. <laughs> Have you ever tried to buy health insurance? It's almost impossible. They're like, well, you can pay $600 a month and then your deductible is $6, but you also have a copay of 80, 20, and then it's $40 every time you go to visit the doctor. And then you don't pay for your pharmaceuticals, but that's only if you have one arm. Uh, <laughs> it's like impossible. It's so fucked up. Every time they're like, uh, like I go, I've, I have healthcare. I've had it for like 20 years. I've never used it ever, ever. I fucking buy it, and everybody's like, oh my god, I can't believe Obama changed our amazing health care. I can't believe he changed it. I don't give a fuck. I've never used it anyway. 
I care more that they change the charger on my iPhone. That's what I'm pissed off about. Nobody has, I got a five now. People are like, oh, I only got the four. I'm like, I can't fucking get a charge. My whole life is strategically planned about where chargers are. I can't go there. I gotta get from this point to that point with enough battery life. I can't leave my house unless I have 100%. I'm, I'm like going into war. I'm like, I gotta get some ammo. Gotta fucking charge up. Because if I leave, because I'm, if I'm at a party and my battery goes below 10%, I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Because I don't know how to get home anymore without fucking Google Maps. I don't know how to go anywhere. I, you could take me five miles from my house without my phone, drop me off, I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. I would end up living there. It'd be like Survivor. 30 years later, they'd find me. They're like, why is Eddie still here? And he's like, he didn't have his iPhone.